Bonjour, this is Brandon with RPG Overviews, and I have a product that's in both English and French to show you. It's called the Underground River. Now, uh, it's just one page. It's pay what you want. It's on Drive Through RPG. Of course, I'll have a link down in the description, and it, it just does something a little different than I wanted to show you. Um, it's got icons instead of numbers. Now, at first, when I started looking at this, I was like, well, where do I start? I always think I've got some starting sense about me where I'm like, okay, well, where's number one? And then I go from there. But this uses icons, and I think it's an interesting take on it. Um, and I think that's pretty much reason why I wanted to show this uh, product in this video. So we look at the top area there. Uh, you've got this stream coming in. It says, a small river flows from a cave. Many footprints enter it. And then it flows into this bigger room and we've got this little crazy dude's head it says strange amphibian creatures when he's six plus two seem to meditate in the front in front of the waterfall they will attack on sight but then i see there's another icon it's like a little potion bottle it says through the rocks on the edge of the fall a water breathing potion can be found and i just thought it was neat i think it's neat to have these little icons there's no like flow to it with numbers and you have to go a certain way it might not be for everybody but i definitely think it's interesting just to have something that's not exactly the same as everything else you've seen. So let's con let's continue on. So we go, maybe there's some rocks up here. You're going to travel up. You're going to enter the, the room right below it. We've got a little fire, like a little campfire. It says the main amphibian camp. One to eight creatures prepare a meal made of snake and will attack the intruders. So we're getting attacked a bunch by these guys. Now we got to decide which way to go. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go about the northeast. So we're going to go up there. We've got that icon. A giant amphibian is found here accompanied by two guards. This is the leader of the group. So we've gone right to the boss. Then we'll go down south. Oh, hold on. I see that little chest icon. What is that? The leader has a magic spear and a shell necklace worth 50 gold pieces. Very cool. We go down south. So we're looking for that one. More amphibian creatures dig a hole, presumably to create a pond that will attack anyone who comes here. This place is chock full of these dudes, so get ready to brawl it up when you come in here. So then we've got some passageways. We see that. I see that meat. You know me. I'm going to look for meat. A few corpses of snakes hang in this room, which serves as a pantry. They are edible. So... Get ready to munch down on some snakes. Then in the northwest of that room, we've got that kind of skull. And we're looking for, it says, a hole in the ground leads directly to the river below. There is a 25% chance that the ground will collapse if anyone approaches. So that, I, I take it, is above. So that's another way that you could come into this underground river. So then we'll go north, and we've got these gems up here. It says, at the end of the cave is a chest containing 71 gold pieces and 122 silver pieces. Then we've got a little strange thing. Some amphibians fight a giant snake. If the heroes intervene, all the creatures turn against them. So we're doing pretty good. We go southeast. Looks like we're going to cro cross over the river. We've got these bones. It says a stone bridge spans the river. Unfortunately, it is not strong. 1 to 6, 1 to 3, the bridge collapses. 4 to 6, the bridge holds. So I think this is neat. I think it's a neat way to kind of lay it out. May not, Like I said, it may not be for everybody, but I wanted to show it to you. So kudos to them. Um, you know, good job on this. And, uh, if you pick this up, uh, let me know what you think about it. Or just in general, this, this different way of doing these icons instead of numbers. So, uh, merci. Au revoir.